So today what I'll be working on is the gray tank plumbing from um, the bottom of the sink down the bus to the bottom of the tub. The gray tank is going to sit under there somewhere. So I think today I'm going to try to just get the plumbing from down here down to the back end and see how far I can get before it gets like 200 degrees today. So first thing I'll be doing is getting under the bus and making sure my measurements are going to be correct. So let's see if I can like put you guys under here with me. Let's see. So put you guys down there. Ouch. So my water is the pipe right here is going to have to come back here to here. So I'll forget by the time I get there. And my elbow. Kind of write down everything I'm going to need, so I only have to go to Lowe's once today. We all know how much I love going to Lowe's all the time, right? So I don't know what's going over. Now, the tricky part is, how am I going to get it from here, there's a real well there, to, and this is why I have been avoiding this whole thing like for so long, because I have to figure out how to run that line, the two inch pipe, um, down to the back of the bus without hitting anything else. All right, I think I have a plan on how to do this. Right, there's enough space in that area. So I think I'm going to do is I'm going to run this probably down a little bit further. I'm going to come, I'll show you guys my Mad Hatter thinking. And you guys can tell me if I'm wrong and if I did it wrong, that's fine. Because I, I don't know what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this down more. I'm going to bring it across here and I'm going to hook it to the frame of the body running all the way down. This is just my propane hookup because um, it runs from the bus and when I'm driving I just hook it to that so I can get out, that out of the way. And it's going to run the whole length of the frame because there's no obstructions between here and the back of the bus. So I think that's what I'm going to do um, with my two inch pipe. Connecting it, I have all these holes in the frame that I think I can do you think zip ties will work all right? Or should I buy like metal ones? I don't know. We'll figure it out when I get to the plumbing section and then I'll be like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. <coughs> so I think that's the plan. I just have to do some more measuring and go from there. I think at, once I get everything and cut everything to size, I think I'll be fine. We'll see. I say think I'll be fine, but we'll see. So anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. Be back. ready to lay some pipe okay so I have gotten everything I think that I'll need not positive I got everything there was a very helpful gentleman um, over at Lowe's thank God for him because I would have gotten all the wrong stuff I thought I had two inch pipe he's like no even if it measures it's still one and a half and he showed me on his measuring tape and I was like oh I'm glad he was there because if not I would have gotten all the wrong stuff and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you guys onto the bus and I'm just going to lay it out like it would run down the bus. Make sure I have everything before I start and let's do it. Come on. So I'm going to start down where the sink is. And oh my God. Okay. I'm going to set you guys right here. So where you can kind of see what I'm talking about. You can see the drainage pipe there. I am wearing pants even though it's like 100 out because, you know, Texas and the ground, they're stickers and it will hurt if I'm not. So basically what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just going to be laying the pipe out where I think it's going to go. 
so I can see. I got a shit ton of everything, so I'm hoping I have everything correct. Um, so we're going to see how it all fits together. I might have over oops, overdone it, but I'd rather overdo it and have to bring shit back than underdo it and have to go back a hundred more times for one project. Because trust me, I have the water tank, the gray water tank down there. I'm going to have to take this off because it's in the way. Um, the gray water tank already laid down there. I'm not quite sure how I am going to feed it into the tank and I'm gonna have to get a valve or something. That I knew I probably have to, um, I will probably have to figure that part out on the next video. I think that this is gonna be a two part series because um, it's gonna take me a while. I'm not even gonna lie because I'm figuring it out as I go along with everything else. So right now, I'm just doing that, laying that out. Three pipes seem to be enough for now, going all the way down to that back section where the tub is. So, I mean, I got all this other shit. Let's see. I'll show you guys what I bought. Okay, so I'll show you what I bought. I had to buy these because I don't have any. And I thought my dad had some, and I haven't been able to find them, and I'm not spending 16 years trying to find them. So, and I bought this thing for underneath the bathtub because hair and all that stuff, because there's no filter on it. So that way, if it ever gets plugged, I can just flush it and then take that off. So all the caca didn't have to get out. So I thought that was a good idea. I mean, I don't know if I really needed it. I know you have to have like inside in my sink when it comes down, it has that like little bloop thing. So it doesn't smell. So I'm hoping this is gonna come down and then I'm gonna put another elbow on it like that so it kind of does the same kind of deal we'll see what happens and I'm probably screwing myself over maybe I don't know but I think for now I am just gonna do zip ties just to keep it there and then I did buy these so I can just kind of see because zip ties are a lot easier to take off if I have to um, than this would be so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie it all first and then come back through and do the heavy duty metal strapping because like I said there's these holes all the way that runs all the way down the frame of the bus and I'm like I can make that work to my advantage so I'm going to do that whether that is the best way somebody tell me that's not so that way I can do it correctly so this video I'll be putting out for my second video so if you guys have helpful suggestions and stuff like that like definitely comment them in the comment section so for now I'm going to be using zip ties today just to get things going. And then I obviously have glue inside the bus. So, and I got a ton of couplings because I couldn't fit all of the longer pipe into uh, my car. So this is why I had to buy a whole bunch of the five foot sections because the other ones wouldn't fit in the car. So I'm gonna couple them. Probably not the best way to do it because there's more chances of leaking, but that's what it is. So, and I bought a ton of elbows because you're going to be going out here, then you're going back there, and that other section is going to go out there. Twist and turn. So, you know, that's what I bought. Oh, there's that one piece. This. Because I didn't know what to get, and I asked the guy at Lowe's. I was like, hey, I have the drain bathtub. I'll show you. Let's go. Hold on. I'll stop the video. Okay, so you can see on the tub how it's metal. So I wasn't sure, like, how am I gonna get, and it was one and a fourth, not a quarter. Oh my God, Candace, you, myself. I can't even think and talk to myself right today, guys, I'm sorry. I meant to say, it didn't go from a half, one and a half to one and a quarter. This is one and a quarter, and the piping is one and a half. I'm like, I don't know what to do, and I tell the guy, I was like, I need something to screw, and he's like, no, you need this. This is what you need. So, I'm hoping he's right. I don't know, for some reason I'm doubting it right now. Why, I don't know. Well, actually, we can put this on now, guys, because this way I can see um, if he was lying to me or not. I don't think he was. He was a pretty cool old guy. But my concern is, yeah, see? That was my, yeah, that, that's not gonna fucking work. Am I doing it wrong? 
I told him that. Maybe I just got the wrong size. It's, wrong. it's not gonna work, guys. This must be like, this must be a lot smaller. Yeah, see? He said, oh, that just slides right on. That'll work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. Well, that sucks. We're gonna have to go back. But I think I'm still gonna just lay the pipe right now just to see how well it varies down. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna have to like measure the distance between that and the bottom of that so I can hook it there and bring it over. You guys can't really see the, the thing I'm talking about, but let me do a guesstimation here. The bottom of that. So that's gonna have to be like this way. The pipe there. 12 inches. So I'm gonna cut this thing 12 inches. Because that's where it needs to be cut. Okay. There. So you guys get to see like my crazy ass today. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that uh that beautiful uh, piece in the back. I found a piece upstairs when I was looking for my glue about um piece that might work that I had inside for the bottom of the tub. But <gasps> you guys can't see what I'm doing. Just looking. I'm trying to cut this thing. So you know it's fun. I don't have to do too many of these because it's like taking all my weight and push down on it. So, yeah. Here comes my mom. You might hear her talking to me. Doing the tank. You look pretty this morning. Pretty? Yeah. I'm videotaping just so you know. I mean, you can come over. No, They're not going to see you. Huh? They're not going to see you. They're looking at, like, under the bus. What are you doing? Doing the drainage pipe. Oh, good. Yeah. So. Wow. I'm figuring it out, Mama. I'm figuring it out. Well, that's what you got to do sometimes. <laughs> Now we're, all the animals are out, so we're gonna see all the animals and hear all the animals. Walter, Walter doesn't like to be ignored. He's a needy little man. I don't know if you guys have ever like played with this stuff before. It's the pipe glue. It smells so good. Oh, oh no! I'm gonna have to go back. My glue is like, I must have left it open a little bit. Well, shit. Cause that's not gonna work. That's like gelatinated. Trying to avoid going back to Lowe's 600 times today. But this is a pretty important part of this whole process. So we're getting off the Lowe's again, guys. To Lowe's again. This is where it would be nice to have like start taking applications for partners to help me do shit because this would be nice we'd be like hey can you just run to the store so I don't have to go a hundred times because after a while after you have to go a hundred times it gets really old really quick so I always wanted to check out something real quick all right so if I do that there Walter no and then I'm gonna put my elbow on like I'm just doing a quick run through 
we all know. We might have to like strap that somehow. Maybe I'll strap it a zip tie there. So then this is gonna come over. I'm gonna have to tie the longer one, like a two foot one. It's gonna come over here. And then I'm gonna do the elbow this way. And then we're gonna go down the frame of the bus. So, but I have to have glue to do this because it won't stick and it won't work without it. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm off to Lowe's, guys. I'm sorry. Walter, that's enough. All right, guys, so I'm back. Lady's like, oh, they know me so well down there. What'd you forget? I said, I didn't forget it. I had it. And then I didn't realize it was already, like, dried up. She just laughed at me. She's like, I'm sure we'll see you again today. You're absolutely right. <laughs> you probably will. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get this started. All right, that has like caca on it, so I have to try to get that off of it. So, oh, I hate these goddamn cans. I always have to like bang the lids to get the can open. There we go. Might as well do the other one, the one right here, too. I really do hate these cans. Like, they should make them a little bit easier to open. None of us, all of us are human and we need to get things open. Come off it. These things are a pain in the ass to get open, guys, by the way. I'm trying to think of it like a spaghetti jar, like you gotta tap the top. Keep it sealed. There we go. All right. Now we're ready to go. Okay. 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 Let's get our pipes ready. Let's not put this up, Candy. All right. Let's put the little purple stuff on it. As soon as it's like the primer or whatever. So we're going to do that. I feel like it's probably what I should do. And on this side, too. stuff doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell good either, but let that dry. Then we're going to put the glue on the joints. See, this is how the glue is supposed to look. Like that. It's not supposed to be chunky. So, you know, a little dab will do ya, I guess. We're going to dab it a little bit more because I want it to stick. I don't know how much of that you, you guys can see, but I'm trying to do it so you can still see everything I'm doing somehow. Oh, excuse me. It's not beer 30 yet. It's still morning, so I've been drinking my monster. I had my coffee, like 600 coffees this morning. And then it's hot now, so now I want monster energy drinks because that's what I drink. And then it's too hot to drink coffee. If I was smart, I could drink like iced coffee, but nobody sells any good iced coffee around here. So, you know, it is what it is. Alright, so there's that little part. I'm just gonna get this guy on here. I'm gonna want him to go that way. I'm gonna lift that up somehow. I'm gonna have to secure it so that you can't see it from the outside very good. There we go. There's my feather switch. I think the measurements are correct. That's gonna go in about there. Perfect, guys. Perfect. I'm gonna try to bring this down now. It's not because you saw what I did there. So now I'm gonna like bring this over across like this. Maybe I measured what sucks. Oh shit. I just fucked up. Uh. 
this is why there's going to be two parts to this because I knew I'd probably do something like that. So it just came apart inside. So all the shit that was sitting in my tube inside is probably all on the inside of my cabinets right now. I thought I had that all secure in there. Apparently it did not. So I'm gonna have to fix that. I just wanted to do this today and get this done with. You know, it's at the end of the build and I'm like, I don't know. It's like one of those days. It's gonna be one of those days, guys. Like, I'm just pissed off at this point because now I have to go up there and see what the hell's going on because So, to be continued in a little bit. We'll see how I have to fix everything up in there. I might as well bring my glue because I'm going to need it. Um, yeah. All right. I'll be back there. I'm going to show you guys what happened. This, when I pushed it up, came out of this. But if I remember correctly, I didn't put glue on that part. So, maybe that's why that happened. So it should be an easy fix. I didn't break anything, break anything. There was a mess. I just cleaned out this. You can see I still have to pick up some back there from that. But yes, I am happy that it wasn't worse than that. I was thinking it was gonna be something way worse like at the top where the sink comes out. So I'll fix that. Okay, an hour after I went up, I had to repair quite a bit up there because it just had loosened up. So. I made sure everything was tight. I kind of strapped stuff up too, like I zip tied things. Is that the way it's supposed to be done? It's better than it was. Let's just put it that way. So, you know, but it did take me about an hour to figure it out. I, I undid the whole thing, redid it, strapped it up. So, it's gonna be okay. We'll find out. So, after much mess in my cabinet, here we are. All right, so get back to this. I'm tired already. This is probably exactly why it's gonna be a two, a two episode because, man, plumbing. Um, I always get mixed up with the sizes. Okay, like I thought I needed two inch pipe because it measured two inches. No, I need a different size. I just I don't. I get that things have to go places. That's not the one I want. What do I have that in here? I don't know. It is a definitely a learning curve with everything. For sure. For sure. For sure. But I feel better. This is a lot more secure now. So that actually does make me feel way better. So oh, the problem I'm having now is this is tilted a little too much. So I guess, why isn't that going in there? I don't wanna do that again, please don't break again. I swear to God, I think if it broke again, I would cry. I would like just be like, oh, I give up for the day. All right, so that's in there for now. I'm gonna do another angle piece. Cause I mean, once I lift it up, I don't know why it's being an asshole like that. So I want it to come up more. I want it to be like right in there. But it's totally... Like I'm putting it in and I feel like it's popping it out. But I want to stick right there. So let me hurry up and get this so I can strap that. I'm trying to think in a fast paced moment just to... Because this shit, once it glues, it's, it's glued into place. So... My mom's dog's driving me crazy today. It won't stop barking. I don't know what the malfunction is. So the plan is, see it keeps popping out on that side. Why is it doing that? Stay in there like I told you to. do just for now. Sometimes I wish I had more hands. 
see. I feel like it's not going to stick very well there. Do you see what I'm saying? Like right here, this edge piece, what it's doing? What am I doing wrong, guys? I'm definitely going to like watch all the comments on this because I'm fucking it up somehow. What am I doing wrong, guys? Should I not be using the purple ship? I thought that's what you did was use the purple ship. But do you see what I'm saying? Like right here, I feel like it keeps sliding out. Is it because my pipe's too long? Totally giving up, guys. I'm not giving up, but totally like feeling defeated today. For sure. For sure feel that way right now. Because that's not going to even stick. Like... I mean, I guess it's, I guess it's all right. Like, I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I run it, right? I don't know, guys. I don't know. All I know is I feel like, um, frustrated. So what I might do Like, I feel like it's gonna leak right there. I don't know. I feel like there's not enough pipe in there. Do you see what I'm saying though? Like, hmm. I need some encouraging words, guys. I am gonna stop the video for right now because. I'm about to have a two-year-old tantrum because I don't I don't know what I'm doing wrong and I'm trying so hard to figure this shit out and my dad's not around to ask so I feel like my ideas are good like trying to do it but for some reason I mean it must be that it's a little bit too long because I feel maybe that is the problem if I had just cut this up probably another inch and that weight could all go up, maybe? Maybe, is that what I'm doing wrong, guys? I don't know. I'm gonna call my dad. Be like, Dad, what do I do? All right. Okay, so after looking at it, like, some more, I'm trying not to get frustrated. Like, I know before I said I was frustrated, which I am. But I think what I'm going to do, because what's happening, and I can see why it's happening, is when it comes out of the bus it has to come behind the counter so the pipe coming out of the bus is like this so it's at an angle so when I'm coming down and going out there's an angle so what I'm going to try to do is I think they have one of those flexible adapter things so obviously I can't change the way it's coming out because it is what it is so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut up right in here okay I'm gonna go buy one of those flexible like elbows like this to have it and then run a pipe from that flexible elbow to across the bus so that way it's straight because if I try to you know jerry rig it out this it's gonna freak everything up all the way down the line and I don't want to do that so I'm gonna end up cutting this off going to find one of those flexible thingies so I can move it and like it can be flexible coming out because it's not going to be straight. Like there's no, there's no way it's going to be straight. It's going to look like, it's not going to be functional. And I'm just going to run into problems down the road. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to take a little bit of a break because I'm about to lose my mind and that's not good. So um, I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go down to Lowe's and try to find that so I can finish this. Well, finish at least this section and then running it down to the back because I think that's all I can handle today. Uh, and it's up close to uh, noon 30. So noon 30 means changing from monster to something better because I think I need that right now because my brain's like just like that. So, yep. Sorry to be complaining so much, but when you get to the end of the build, you're tired. You just want it done. <laughs> so I'll be back. Hopefully in a better mood. I'll have a couple beers. 
be more cheery for you guys. Hey guys, I know that um, my last part of my last video that I did, um, sorry, I'm trying to light right, um, was very frustrated and extremely hot, like it was 105 down here today. Um, I had to walk away from it when I get out from underneath the bus, I pretty much almost passed out from the heat and everything like that, so I quit for the day. Um, I think between not drinking enough, I didn't have, I didn't even drink beer this morning, guys. Like, I didn't have anything, like, unusual. I think it was just the combination of the heat and then getting frustrated and being under the bus. I got up and I just wanted to, like, pass out. Like, everything was, like, stars everywhere and I just kind of, I was like, no, I'm not doing this to myself. I'm not pushing myself this hard, especially in this heat wasn't something that had to been done. I haven't done it yet, so it wasn't anything that had to be done today. So I uh, went and got cooled off. All I have been drinking today is water and like Gatorade and everything like that, trying to hydrate myself. Sometimes I forget about self-care. Um, when you want to get things done and you have a mission and you have a goal, you have to just stop and uh, remind yourself that you're human, you're not a robot. And when you're working all the time and trying to do this on top of it, sometimes you forget that. Sometimes you're like, I just need to push through and get it done. And that's 99% of the time how my personality is, is let's get it done. I want to get it done. Let's not rest. Like, don't take a break. Let's go, 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 go. And in doing that, you know, I mean, it's just passing out. But at the same time, like my body was telling me, slow the fuck down. There doesn't have to be done today. So I guess um, a nice shower is what I just had. Uh, I rested all afternoon and all I have been doing is drinking. Sometimes I do forget to nourish myself and nourish my body. Um, so I think it was a combination of not eating breakfast this morning, not drinking enough water, and the heat of everything, and then just being frustrated on top of it all. So I will get to it tomorrow night um, after work. Hopefully um, the heat will be a little better. It feels like there's a rainstorm coming through and I really hope so because it will cool it off a little bit. But I didn't want to leave you guys hanging this week with um, no video. So you saw the first half of it. I knew it was going to be a part two but I didn't think it was going to be this <laughs> this hard of a project. It's not that it's hard, it's more frustrating than anything because you're trying to get it and then with the whole everything on the top part of the, the uh, sink falling apart um, is where that huge frustration came in. I thought everything was like perfect underneath the sink. So I just wanted to tell you all that I love you. Um, there was a shirt giveaway. I did it last um, last Wednesday night on TikTok because I don't have enough followers here to do lives yet. Um, Richard Smith was the winner of the first uh, Gypsy Under Supervised shirt. So what I would suggest if you want to win one um, is if you have already following you're already in the drawing I have I, I saved all the names um, that have you know comment what size shirt they want or if a new subscriber and they commented what shirt size shirt they wanted um, so if you've already done that you don't need to do it again you're still in the drawing because I'm gonna do another one probably in a couple more weeks so and I just it's just basically to tell you I really appreciate you for watching and taking the time to listen to what I have to say and watch my beautiful disaster of a life um, but yes I just want you all to have a great week and I love you and take care. All right, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. I'd like to get to a thousand so that way I can start doing lives on here. I mean, I love TikTok, don't get me wrong, but I would like to be able to do lives here because I've been here longer. So um, I love you all, have a great day.